Hello everyone, my name is Appleguy and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the previous video, we placed the spiritual stones in the Temple of Time, played the Song of Time to open the Door of Time, a lot of time, and then we went, drew out the Master Sword and found out that while we slept for seven years to grow into the position of the hero, Ganondorf invaded the Sacred Realm, and it's now our mission to awaken the six sages that are left asleep to face him. If we go outside, we're going to see Hyrule that has passed seven years. First thing we'll notice, Death Mountain, big red ring of fire, which as we learned, means the mountain is not happy. If we go into Castle Town, you'll see everyone is gone and the only people left are Redeads. We have no business here, no business with the Redeads. We're just going to keep running directly out. You see the guard's house is still here, but it's changed a bit. We'll talk about that in a later video. Once we leave, we'll see not much has changed to Hyrule Field, and we'll remember that we were instructed to go to Kagriko Village by Raru, because that is where all the survivors from the Castle Town attack moved to. Which is pretty funny, because when we were a child, there was a guy who told us that Kagriko Village will one day have, you know, near, near amount the same population of the people of Castle Town. Which is strange, since they all moved here. Maybe, maybe he was in cahoots with Ganon or something. At first glance, you know, you might not see anything too different, but there are definitely more people here. They've taken over some of the houses and moved their shops here. This building up here to my right, which used to be under construction, is now complete. It's actually a shooting gallery. We can't play that yet because we don't have any, any projectile weapons. Not much has changed else. If we head over into the graveyard, we'll notice that there are now ghosts about. We're not going to do too much with them, though. We're actually going to pull back a gravestone and fall into it because something rather tragic has happened to our, our good friend Dampe the Gravekeeper. He has, he has retired from his position of the Grave Digger and he has become the person whose grave gets dug. If we fall down here, we'll enter a little bit of a maze area and our good friend Dampe will be waiting for us. Heh heh heh, young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I am confident in my speed. Let's have a race! Follow me if you dare! Here we are, we're gonna have to follow Dampe through this little labyrinth someone dug for him. Maybe he dug it himself when he was in his spare time. He would throw little bits of fire, either as a way to get you to follow him, or as a method of trying to slow you down. There are several doors that will close after Dampe passes through them, so we have to make sure to keep up with him. Oh, I got hit by the fire. That's okay. See, here's one of those doors. If we were too slow, it would actually close and we would not be able to follow Dampe any longer. There's a little room with, you know, some little spolders or something, maybe some large stones. Just keep following the dampster. Oh, no, okay. Quick, there's another one of those doors. Get through it. No! Roll! There we go. We got through, just barely. There we go. Have to keep following Dampe around. You can go left to follow him, or you can actually go up here straight. Both of these pathways work. I don't know if one is better than the other. Just wanted to let you guys know you have some options. We have to just round this last bit of a stretch here. Go as quick as we can. Maybe get a couple rolls in here. And I believe our time will be at 3.06. Alright, that's not bad. The time of this race was 1 minute and 6 seconds. <laughs> Young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> as a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hookshot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> As Dampe said, he will now give us the hookshot item, which will be the first item we get that only Adult Link can use. Child Link will not be able to wield this item at all. So as Dampe said, it's kind of like a grappling hook-ish mixed with the boomerang. You could say it's like the adult version of the boomerang. It allows you to bring items to yourself, but also allow you to take yourself to items. I will be using it very shortly back in Kakariko Village, and I'll show it off there. Just got to learn a little bit about it here. All right, if we go into the next room, you'll see there are these blocks that have the same insignia as the Door of Time. These are like blocks of time, you could say. You can um, play the Song of Time to get them to go away. Lovely, lovely piece of music there. They will warp to a new location usually, but these ones will just disappear or, you know, warp out of bounds to where they're completely useless to us. Up here, 
We're actually going to enter a brand new area. This is the windmill, but the upper floor of it. You notice there's a piece of heart over there. We want that piece of heart. We're going to have to wait to hop on this little rotating thing. There's a little dude over there in the corner. He seems kind of mad about something. Not much we can do with him for now. He'll be important to the story later on. Just got to wait here. And roll jump when we can. Get the jump slash off for effect. There's a piece of heart. We now actually have 10 hearts, the max you can have in one row, so if we were to get another heart container, or 4 pieces of heart, we would actually create a brand new row. Gonna need to play the sun song now, because we need it to be nighttime to grab a golden Skulltula in the town. This is when I said we were gonna be using the hook shot, so once I regain control of Link, I'm gonna be equipping that. Here we are. I like keeping it on the C left, but you know, I'll put it wherever. Fun fact, actually, when I was a, when I was a kid, I would play this game with a certain set of items on each C button, and I would only play with those. I would hate to have them lose their order. Eventually, one day, I'm like, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, you need a variety of different items. The hookshot was one of those items, as well as the Ocarina of Time. But, you know, there are many times when there is much more useful stuff than the Ocarina of Time. So, I would usually replace that one first, then the hookshot, and keep this other item that I'm not telling you guys about yet. I would keep that as long as possible. We have to get up here now. Let's see if we can aim. You see the little red dot that appears? That is where the hookshot will land. See if we can get a little closer. Maybe that'll help. That should be good. Nope. Too low. Try again. A little bit up. There we go. Grab onto the side. Here is a golden skull to let. Let me just show off. You can use the hookshot to hit the golden skull to let if you actually hit them. There we go. And they can also bring the tokens to you. Just want to show that off. Next place we're going to go is somewhere we have been before, but not in seven years because we have been sleeping. We're going to visit Lon Lon Ranch to check on our good friend, Malin, as well as her father, Talon, see what the ranch is going on. Ranch life was something we enjoyed checking out before. We know we got a free bottle. Let's see what we can get now. I'm actually going to play the Sun Song right when we step into Hyrule Field, though, because it does need to be daytime. For the event, we are going to explore. We've seen the trek over to Lon Lon Ranch many many times, so I will not be showing it. I also will not be showing me gathering rupees. I will be going in with 70 rupees. If you guys are playing along, that's how many you will need to do the activity here in Lon Lon Ranch. But I'll see you guys when we get there. We are now entering Lon Lon Ranch with the 70 rupees I said we need. You might not be able to tell at first, but this ranch has actually changed a lot. Malin and Talon are no longer the owners. Their old ranch hand, Ingo, is now the owner, and if we talk to him, he'll let us know a little bit more about what happened. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. Ah, the hard-working Ingo poured as much energy into this place. So don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride on one of my fine horses? You pay me 10 rupees and you can ride. We do want to ride a horse. We don't need to know how to do it. Alright, we'll pay him the 10 rupees and we will head in. He'll give us a horse, but that horse looks really lame. We want Epona! She's still here. If we try and approach Epona, she'll be very scared of us, like the skittish little horse she is. We actually have to play Epona song. Because that is what Malin taught us, is a song that calms her down to where she will, you know, want to let us ride on her. There we go. See, she'll run over to us, but I'm going to go ahead and cut her off. Riding a horse in this game is easy. You just move and press A to go fast. We're actually going to have to do a little bit of practice here just to get, you know, your hands, hands all warmed up on the horse. See what we got to do. This is kind of a big one. Ah, not enough speed. Okay, no problem there. Alright, I think we are warmed up enough. Let's go ahead and get off the horse now. Nope, get off the horse. Nope, off the horse. Down. There we are. Alright, opponent, stay here. Let's talk to Ingo. And he'll just explain to us. We say we are done riding for now. He'll cancel a session. And, you know what? That was so much fun. That was the best 20 or 30 seconds of my life. We're going to ride another horse. We're going to do it again. That was so much fun. We're going to get a Pona again, but this time, Ingo will actually offer to race us. I swear I'm not bad at playing the Ocarina. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Link just did not want to get the notes right there. Jeez. Alright, come over here. Come here. 
Thank you. Gonna go ahead and get on Epona. Ingo will see that we are on a horse and he will offer to race us. We have to pay 50 rupees for the wager. You're getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees. We're gonna do it. Racing is easy. Ingo is on a very fast horse, but Epona is faster. We press A to use carrots, and pretty much what we want to do is try and get ahead of Ingo as soon as possible. Stick with the inside. Never use all of your carrots, because if you use all of your carrots, you actually take longer to regenerate them. So you always want to keep at least one. As long as you get Ingo off early enough, you can kind of just, you know, keep in front. At the last bit here, this last little bit, since it is only one lap, you can actually just use all your carrots if you want. You're never going to... Doesn't matter. It's the end of the race. Doesn't matter if opponent's tired. Ingo will be very upset. Shoot! If the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation... Hey, hey you! How about another race? If you win, you can, you can keep the horse. We're gonna go again. Same second verse, same as the first. Just want to make sure you cut Ingo off early enough. There we go. And stick with the inside. He'll be much more aggressive this race, and he will use much more carrots. As I said, you never want yours to run out, though, because that means you don't have any energy left. Stay ahead of him here. Alright, rounding the last little bit. You can always go all out with your carrots here at the end. Doesn't matter. There we go. We get a pwn of the horse! Ingo will be very upset. What's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Well, Ingo, you might think you're a pretty smart man, but I have a pwn of the horse, and if there's one thing a pwn of the horse is good at, it's jumping fences. Bye-bye. Get this nice cinematic. Okay, I think it's just becoming daytime, because they're supposed to be really... Oh, there it is. Celebratory music! Epona is free from the ranch, which means she is now ours to use whenever we want. Whenever we play Epona's song in the field, she will come to us, and we can do... Whatever we want. Now that we have Epona, we can run fast throughout all the different areas. See, here we are. We're actually going to be taking this time now to visit a place we haven't visited in a very, very long time. Let's see what's going on over here in Kokiri Forest. You know, we used to live here when we were a kid. Alright, we need to now get off of Epona. No, not faster. Down. Down. Good job. So when you leave Epona out here in the field, she'll just run off. You play Epona's song to bring her back. Anyway! Raru said the first spiritual sage was inside of the forest, so why don't we see if there's any hints where we used to live. Across this bridge where, sorry, gave us the fairy ocarina way back when. You'll see there are now Deku Babas, and they've invaded. There's a, a Deku Scrub over here. This place has very clearly gone downhill. It's gone so downhill that if you play the Sun Song, you can actually grab a Golden Skull Tua. Pretty neat, I guess. It's on the Twins House, only appearing at nighttime, of course. Twins House is over here, is where we went on very early in the game to grab those four chests from the start. I believe we just have to crawl up here. Let's see if we can find this Golden Skulltula. This is not the Twins House. Okay, wait, is this not the Twins House? No, this is Mido's house. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. Twin's house is over here. Yeah, okay. I can't believe I forgot that. That was pretty embarrassing to be to be frank. Let's see, we have to use the hook shot here to hit it, and also pull down the token. Perfect. As you can see, so many things. There's an Octorok. Wow, an Octorok. Let's see if the shopkeeper is still around, see what he's selling, see if he's changed anything. Nope. Oh, they're all kind of hiding out in here, though. He'll still welcome us to his shop. Let's see what these girls have to say. Anything? Hi, mister! You can't use a Deku Shield! It's only for kids! Alright, good to know, I guess. I wasn't planning on using it. You can buy arrows at a shop only if you have a bow. Have you got one, mister? No, we don't. Shop keeps still here. You'll notice pretty much everyone else is, is you know, there's no one out in the day. 
nor at night. They're all hiding. So clearly something is wrong. Let's see if Saria in the Sacred Forest Meadow has anything to say about that. Because remember last we saw Saria when she taught us her song. It was in the Lost Woods Sacred Forest Meadow area. Why don't we go ahead and run over there and check it out. Have to go up here and then into the Lost Woods. Have to go over here. Same route as always. Just have to make our way. When we go over here, there'll actually be someone blocking the path to the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's our good old friend, Mido. What are you? Though you wear kokirish clothing, you can't fool me! I promised sorry I would never let anyone go through here. So the secret for letting Mido let you through is by playing Saria's song because she only teaches that song to her friends. So obviously if we know the song, we're one of her friends. We know Saria, Mido. That melody! Saria plays that song all the time, you- Do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Thank you, Mido. I appreciate you letting us through. We have business to attend to. Perfect. And then it's going to be a right-hand turn. That should be the way to the Sacred Forest Meadow. In here, there will be a brand new enemy. It is a Moblin. They're kind of big spear guys. They have super good hearing, so you don't want to let them hit you back. Because if you do, they'll pretty much lock you into the water. Turn around. Come on, big pig man. Let's go. Remember when I said the intro of this game was my least favorite part? I think I've changed my mind because, as you can see, my health is noticeably low. That's because I actually died to these Moblins. I uh, tried to go through this area and it didn't work. So, thanks Moblins. You, you make a masterpiece of a game something annoying to play. The worst part is when they start to see you, there's nothing you can do. They're completely... Oh. Once they hit... Once they start to see you and they begin to charge, they're actually completely invulnerable from the front. Let's see if we can get this guy. Perfect. This is going much better already than the, the previous attempt did. Uh, one over here to the right. He might be behind us, though. Yeah, he's over here now. Right. Whatever. I'm just going to go through here. Good. Can we up? Oh! See, once they get you, they kind of just... They just push through no matter what. You could drop a bomb on them. They'd be like, no, okay. That's one thing else. Link uh, is not the smartest guy. I just want to rub up against the, the wall here so I can be prepared to climb up. But sometimes he's like, I'm going to climb now. This looks like a good time. Oh my. These guys have the best hearing in the game. You take a... Okay. Oh god. Oh jeez. I don't even... Here, have a bomb. That made me feel good. There we go. Get out of here, Moblin. Alright. Through here. Let's see, this guy, he has a club, as you can see, so he will start to hit in one of the three directions, either left, center, or right. And if he hits you, you'll get sent all the way back. Lovely! Doing great so far. Just keep dodging, roll behind him, and there you go. Get smacked. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and smack you again, to be honest. And just to make myself good, I'm going to jump slash you. Yeah, fall. Good. Oh, good, some money. Up here, let's see if Saria has anything to say to us. Here we are. Looks like Saria is gone. Sheik! The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minuet of the forest. So what the Minuet of the Forest does is it allows us to warp back to this specific outside of this temple 
We will learn a bunch of different warp songs to take us to all the different kinds of temples, but now that we have a Pona and warp songs, we'll be able to get around the world much quicker. We have learned the Minuet of the Forest. Link, I'll see you again. And much like Impa, they're just ninjing out of here. There they go. Gone with the wind. Perfect. In the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will go into this temple and awaken the sage who rests inside. See you guys next time.